In 1950s, uh, the Asians and African nations that uh, still a weak uh, states and uh, just independence from uh, colonialism can unify and uh, can uh, together uh, sit together and uh, oppose the injustice of the global order at the moment, at the time. And I think it's a very uh, important message to uh, us now that we are now in the more better form uh, in terms of political, economic, and cultural. But is it possible for us to uh, sit together or to uh, cooperate together like uh, we, we did in 1950s uh, in the Bandung Conference? I think it's a very important message. Can we... Uh, what's that? Uh, meet or uh, sit together to talk about the world problems today that we still face with, uh, we still face today in the form of imperialism in Middle East for example. Um, tell me, uh, what's your opinion as 
to be a little about why is, is it still very important today for us to commemorate and discuss about the Asia Africa Conference. I think we can learn that uh, in 1950s, uh, the weak states of Asian and African uh, countries uh, can unify and uh, rise the idea that the, the idea of very importance at the moment, like the idea of world peace, the idea to oppose injustice in the form of colonialism and anti-imperialism. Anti and I think it's, uh, we uh, commemorate to, what is that, to uh, rethink again or reread again that message to the uh, world's problems today. Is it possible for us, because we still face injustice in the form of imperialism, in the form of war, is, it, is that possible to reinterpret against the idea that uh, the Asian Africans Conference or the Bandung Conference uh, bring in 1950s to the uh, world problems today? I think it's a I think, I think it's very important for us to commemorate the uh, legacy of the Bandung in terms of that. And then, should the solidity of Asia Africa Conference to be maintained nowadays? And is it still relevant to the Europe? Yeah, I think it's very important because we, can, we cannot do anything if we are global things. If, in, if we, uh, Indonesia just uh, alone speak about peace to the world, I think our power is not really uh, big to what's that to raise the voice and to withdraw the attention of the world uh, today. I think we, we should uh, cooperate together uh, with the uh, uh, Asians and Africans and perhaps also uh, together with the, uh, Latin America, uh, together as the global south to talk about the uh, world problem today, the injustice of the uh, injustice that we we still face today. Yes. I think uh, that's point. Yeah. And uh, this is for the last question. How about the future of Asia Africa Conference? It's very difficult questions because uh, yeah, we can we can still meet together. Uh, but I'm also pessimistic that we can uh, sit together like we did in the 1950s because we face different, different problems, different uh, world problems today and also in terms of the political situations uh, in the Asian and African countries are really uh, very different with uh, we, uh, we face in the 1950s or 1960s. So, the Cold War is uh, ended now and we face a very different uh, situations today and also in terms of the uh, national uh, politics of the Afro-Asian uh, nations we are now not progressive anymore it's very different with the situations in 1950s and 1960s uh, in terms of the many progressive leaders uh, came from the Asian and African countries and also uh, I convinced that uh, why Bandung conference can appear because the problems that they face today is very what's that is very uh, out uh, day life the, the everyday life the everyday life so the problem is not uh, only about ideological but also physical. They can uh, sense the problems at the moment like colonialism, they very suffered from that and also imperialism in the form of the Cold War. They, they very uh, sense the danger of the chemical weapon or the military weapon to uh, them. But now what is the common enemy of us? So. I think if the uh, world problems that uh, in terms of uh, ideological or physical same like 
we raised in 1950s or 1960s, we can sit together and bring the, the progressive idea to the world. Uh, I think that's, that's all for our interview. Thank you so much for listening to Thank you, Melissa. Good afternoon, everyone.